Hey guys, here Khalid from Clicker Fanatics Magazine. I'm here with Nadine De Klerk, of course. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about this Western Province Awards. You seeing all your your teammates, obviously someone like Damitaka getting so much praise from everybody and, and a standing ovation. This group of players seem so special. What makes this this team so special? I think it's just the way that like, I think you mentioned it. Like it's a family, and and we we play for each other. And I think um, we could see with, with the players that actually got the awards. Um, everybody was just really behind them and um, really proud of them. So I think the work the girls have put in in, in, the, in the last couple of months was really good. And um, obviously they they're getting their awards for that. So it's just really pleasing to see. And I think it's good signs for the season coming up as well. So how do you rate your season so this year? Like um, your experiences, what you learned this season from the previous season. I think it's just I think playing international cricket and then coming back. Um, you know, you learn you learn a lot about yourself. I think first of all, um, it's about really being committed and and trusting your processes as well. So I think that's one thing is about really being specific in whatever you do and and whenever you do come back um, from international level or where, wherever you play, um, it's just really to to give that to some of the young girls and I think take into your provincial cricket as well. But I think from a from even from a bowling batting point of view um, you always learn new things and especially playing against some of the top teams in the world um, it's really challenging especially on flat pickets and stuff so you learn a lot about what you need to do and, and where you need to be so I think coming back here is a really good time to work on those things and, and try and get better at it. Our next edition of the magazine our monthly magazine which is 100% free on our channel please go and download it guys every issue is 100% free straight to your inbox every month but um, we're going to be focusing on the World Cup and preparations for World Cups. Can you give me some, because there's going to be quite a few World Cups. We have the ASN 19 World Cup which for the women, and that's going to be excellent. And we also obviously have the Men's World Cup and the Women's World Cup coming up very, very soon. So what goes behind the scenes when you prepare for a World Cup with regards to coaches, players? Or how do you guys prepare yourself physically, mentally, um, technically for a World Cup? Yeah, I think um, first of all, the Under-19 World Cup is a really exciting um, aspect. I think it's obviously the first and hopefully the first of many, but I'm really excited to see how that's going to go. But I think especially from a, from a strength and conditioning point of view, we, we have quite tough programs at the moment. Um, that is taking quite a while, but it, it's quite tough. But that obviously prepares us um, to, to actually go into it physically. And, and from, a, from a cricketing point of view, we have a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, a lot of team training sessions as well um, in the evening so I think from a skills point of view there's a lot of work going in behind the scenes and, and hopefully um, that pays off in the, in the next couple of months in, in the provincial cricket and um, hopefully going into the World Cup or any international series is coming up. Yeah, awesome, so we know that women's cricket is getting more focus and obviously more attention. To those young girls out there that want to start cricket, do you have a message for them? I think um, it's if it's your dream, just never give up. Uh, I think a lot of times you hear from, from uh, all around that it's not possible, but it is. I think especially in um, women's cricket at the moment, it's really a, f a really fast-growing sport. Um, I think it's getting a lot of interest from all around the world and all these global leagues that's going around for the women's game. So I think never give up on your dreams, really work hard, um, know what you want to get out of it and, and just give it your best shot because um, you don't want to regret anything at the end of the day. You mentioned something there, sorry, um, about the global leagues. Um, can you give me some insight into Global Leagues, what you have you learned from that experience because I, I got like a, some sort of insight from some of the players saying that the way overseas teams approach cricket is different to South Africans, is that true? Definitely, um, I obviously was lucky enough or privileged enough to play for the Brisbane Heat for a couple of years and I just think um, just the way the way they handled the players and the training we got out of it and, and really being specific and really working hard. Um, but I think the most important thing for me was that it was person first um, and cricket kind of came after that. So they really looked well after us uh, from a personal point of view and mental health. They, they actually spent a lot of time with us um, in, that, in that part of our game. But I just think the coaches were phenomenal, uh, phenomenal and I think the players as well. And, and we learned so much from, from other players, some of the Australian stars and also some of the young guns um, that's up and coming in Australia as well. So um, I definitely think that makes a massive difference and, and hopefully uh, a lot of our young girls can get into these global leagues because I just think it, it takes your cricket to another level. Thanks a lot, Nadine. Good luck for the season. Awesome. Thank you so much.